Uh, we've prepared the joints. You can use temporary fixation if you need to, but we'd also like to see how much the staple compresses together. We want to be centered on both of these bones here, both the second metatarsal as well as the middle, middle cuneiform. And so here's kind of the edge there. Here's our lateral border there. It looks like we're pretty equal distant on both sides there. Bicortical here if need be. And I'll just make a drill hole here in the second metatarsal. Got a retention pin here just so we hold it in place. And then here's our second placement. So here is our uh, staple. And once again, comes preloaded um, out of the disposable kit. Can be adjusted here and loosened if needed here by turning on here counterclockwise and then can be tightened and spread apart by moving it clockwise to get the appropriate width of the staple that you want. So I'm going to spread this up in just a little bit more and then here's one hole, here's the other hole. So that'll be implanted into there and we can gently impact it too. So it's not going to go all the way because we have that device which will prevent it from doing so. So that's underneath it so we need to then tamp this into place with the appropriate lid size tamp, which we have here. And we can do a little bit distally. So here we can see the staple in place after it's uh, impacted gently into place. And then we, uh, this is a 25 millimeter staple, you just see if we rotate the foot a little bit, how flush it is there in the bone. So it really has a nice fit to it. A little bit of contour there in the center. Uh, the joint that you could see before is now impossible to see. It's already getting constant compression across that area. Um, and that's with res doing a generous resection of the joint prior to placement of the staple. So it's low profile, but yet very strong. So the staple that we inserted is a little bit more of a wider staple. We also have a staple that has the same length to it, but that staple is just a little bit thinner from in that plane if for a smaller foot or you were concerned about the width of this staple here you could also use a smaller um, thinner staple that has still the same length to it there so that you get two options here for tmt joints if needed